During the night, hundreds of American and British aircraft have mounted attacks on targets in Iraq. Hang on, you guys! Dreams of holding the Soviet Union together may have received a death blow today. It's hard to believe there was a time when Mario vs. Sonic was a legitimate argument. But when Sonic first came out into the Genesis, he pretty much single-handedly overthrew Nintendo's monopoly on the video game industry. And this can be chalked up to, you know, great marketing by Sega and the fact that these games were fucking badass. Then Mario makes the jump to 3D. And it's like... Damn, okay, this is how video games are made now. You know, it's not even Halloween yet, but millions of kids already know what they want for Christmas. A new video game system called Nintendo 64. Two years later, Sonic goes 3D. Here he comes. Sonic Adventure. This game is fucked. The levels are barely functional, and the animation makes Something Mass Effect look like fucking Pixar. What happened to that emerald we just had? An employee card. I can use this to get into that building. What what building? What do you don't worry guys. The circle will tell me what to do. Did you walk around the whole city? Oh no, I didn't try it yet. Oh, thank you so much, man. Wow. Sonic would continue to fumble around in 3D until Sega just said, fuck it. Loading screen video game. No wait, how about we pretend to be an actual game, right? But then nope. Fuck you, it's a 3D brawler that runs at 3 frames per second. After years of buggy, unfinished disasters, Sonic's reputation pretty much flatlined. He went from up here to down here with fucking Croc, and people started to forget that golden era. Sonic yes? was never good. It just never was that great. They all want to have sex with Big the Cat. Sonic Mania is a lightning bolt reminder that before this, Sonic was the man. It is unbelievable how effectively they've captured the spirit of the originals while subtly injecting their own ideas into these classic stages. Once again, momentum plays a huge role, not in just how Sonic moves, but in the general pace of the game. When you're building a roller coaster, you don't just build a big circle out of metal and call it a day, you know, you gotta build up enough speed to shoot someone through that loop. But then you gotta reel it back in, okay, okay, slow it down, slow it down. You're constantly building towards that 100 rings so that you can get an extra life. And you come to these tense moments where you're at 93 rings, you're right there at the finish line, up and say goodbye to everything, you stupid dumbass. Mania has this enthralling sense of progression. Each zone is magnificently brought to life with ultra detailed sprite work. Just look at how animated this shit is, Jesus Christ! Yet the game never dwells on it. It moves you along at such a brisk pace. Each zone is only two acts, each act with their own song, and then boom, next zone. It's constantly hitting you with new imagery, new music, new mechanics. Levels have these huge, branching and intertwining paths that really bolster their replayability. And the game is more than happy to reward you for investigating each path. Look at Hydro City Zone. Depending on which way you go, this could be a fucking water level, or you could be up here, living it up with the big boys. You can now jump into a spin dash, which can be a extremely useful old power-ups take on this new level of interactivity they even brought back this stupid ass shit let me show you guys how to play this real quick and for the first time in sonic history an actual fun bonus stage my only gripe with this game is how much of its identity is owed to its predecessors there are 12 zones which splits into thirds of you know remix levels from the originals dramatically overhauled levels and the brand new stuff which is so good that you go God damn, I just wish this whole game was new levels. On the flip side, you get possibly the most consistent Sonic game to date. There are no low points here, even with the inclusion of some oddball stuff. Lava Peep Zone? What the fuck, guys? Why would you put in Lava? That level was awesome. There are tons of surprises and winks in here for longtime fans. Sometimes you'll see mechanics from stages that aren't even featured pop up. There is a boss fight in here that I am not going to spoil now, but after you play the game, you'll know what I'm talking about. And let me say, Damn. Sonic Mania is a game made by fans, but it is not a fan game. It is a victory for anyone who loves video games. It's a game that once you beat it, you go, alright, let's go beat it again. And that's exactly what I did. 